it is time to dive into some advanced routing concepts in Next.js. We're going to start with parallel routes. What they are, how to set them up, and why they're super useful when building complex user interfaces. Parallel routes is an advanced routing mechanism that lets us render multiple pages simultaneously within the same layout. Let's look at scenario 7, building a complex dashboard for a web application. Imagine needing to display user analytics, revenue metrics, and notifications all at once in the same route. The traditional way would be to create three separate components for each part and organize them in a layout.tsx file inside a dashboard folder within the app folder. So let's do that. Now we already have a dashboard folder, so let's create a new folder called complex dashboard, complex hyphen dashboard, and add a layout.tsx file. Using regular components, the code might look something like this. The three components will be imported from separate files and rendered within complex dashboard layout component. User analytics, revenue metrics, and notifications. The layout will also render the component from adjacent page.tsx as the children prop. This file doesn't exist yet, so let's create it. New file, page.tsx. Export default function, complex dashboard and return an h1 tag that says complex dashboard. Each of the other three components, which we won't define by the way, represents a specific dashboard section in the UI. Think of them as cards that will render the necessary data. While this traditional component-based approach works well, parallel routes can achieve the same result with some extra benefits. So how exactly do we implement parallel routes in Next.js? Parallel routes in Next.js are defined using a feature known as slots. Slots help organize content in a modular way. To create a slot, we use the at folder naming convention. Each defined slot automatically becomes a prop in its corresponding layout.tsx file. For our complex dashboard, we will create three slots within the complex dashboard folder. At users for user analytics, at revenue for revenue metrics, and add notifications for notifications. Let's implement these now. Let's start with notifications. Within the complex dashboard folder, create a new folder called at notifications with a page.tsx file. Default export a React component called notifications, which returns a div tag with the text notifications. Similarly, within complex dashboard again, create another folder, at revenue, create a page.tsx file, and default export a React component called revenue metrics that returns a div tag that says revenue metrics. Finally, create another folder with a page.tsx file, so at users slash page.tsx. Export default function, user analytics, which returns a div tag with the text user analytics. Three simple components, with the at folder naming convention. Now we can use these three slots in our layout.tsx file. The nice thing is that they are automatically passed in as props to our layout component and no imports are needed. Let's delete the import statements and specify three more props, users, revenue, and notifications. And for the types, the same three components users, revenue, and notifications. I will update the JSX with inline styles to match the layout from our slide. You can find this code on my GitHub repo. We have an enclosing div tag with an nested div tag that renders children prop. We have the users slot, revenue slot, and finally notifications slot. Let's also create a nice card component to wrap each one of those slots. In the source folder, We'll make a new folder called components with a card.tsx file. I'll paste the code for a card component to save us the time. Now in each slot, replace the div tag with the card component. Make sure to import the component at the top. So notifications wrapped with card, revenue metrics wrapped with card, and user analytics wrapped with card. We are now ready to go. When you visit localhost 3000 slash complex dashboard, you will see our complex dashboard with the main title right here, 
and all the three slots nicely laid out. User analytics, revenue metrics, and notifications. If it doesn't work, try restarting the development server. Our parallel routes work as expected. But here's something important to note. Slots are not route segments and don't affect your URL structure. So if you try navigate to complex dashboard slash users or at users, you won't see user analytics. You get back a 404 page not found. And what is even more interesting is that the children prop is actually an implicit slot that doesn't need its own folder. Complex dashboard slash page.tsx is the same as complex dashboard slash at children slash page.tsx. So technically, we are working with four slots in our layout file. Now let me walk you through some of the use cases for parallel routes. Dashboards with multiple sections, split view interfaces, multi-pane layouts, complex admin interfaces, and really any UI where sections need to operate independently. You might be wondering, what is the benefit of building user interfaces with parallel routes? What makes them so special? While parallel routes are great for splitting a layout into manageable slots, especially when different teams work on different parts, that is not their main superpower. You could do that with regular components as well. The real magic of parallel routes comes from two key features, independent route handling and sub-navigation. Let's break this down. One of the most compelling features of parallel routes is the ability to handle each route independently. This is huge because each slot in your layout, such as users, revenue, and notifications, can handle its own loading and error states. This granular control is particularly useful in scenarios where different sections of the page load at varying speeds or encounter unique errors. Think about it. If your user analytics data is taking its sweet time to load, you can show a loading spinner just for that part while everything else stays interactive. Or if something goes wrong with fetching revenue metrics, you can display an error message in that specific slot without breaking the rest of your dashboard. The other significant advantage of using parallel routes is their capability to offer a seamless sub-navigation experience within each parallel route. Each slot can essentially function as a mini application complete with its own navigation and state management. Users can interact with each section separately, applying filters, sorting data, or navigating through pages without affecting other parts. For example, in the notifications section, users might want to switch between default and archived views to see older notifications. These interactions stay contained within the notification section and the URL updates to match the current view. This makes the URL shareable and helps users track their location in the application. Users can also navigate through different parts of the application without unnecessary page reloads or layout shifts. Now, when discussing sub-navigation in parallel routes, there is a very important concept we need to understand. Let's see what that is next. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.